Hey Brent, my T-SQL skills are mid-level at best. I identify with that. I don't know a lot of people who think that they have top-notch T-SQL skills because the reality is, is the more you learn about T-SQL, the more you compare yourself to Itzik Ben-Gon, who's like the original wizard of T-SQL. I, when I stand in the same proximity as Itzik Ben-Gon and I watch him do his thing, I'm like, man, I suck at T-SQL. So you're, you're not alone. Oh, there are a lot of us who consider ourselves mid-level. He says, in recent months, I finished reading T-SQL Fundamentals, which is one of its six books, uh, and T-SQL Windowing Functions. Do you have recommendations of blogs to read that go into more advanced T-SQL usage? No. Um, so there was a time when advanced T-SQL was a topic that got discussed on things like SQL Server Magazine. These days, advanced T-SQL, I, I don't know that it really makes sense to specialize in advanced T-SQL as much as what's the problem that you need to solve and then go from there. And when you say, what's a problem I need to solve? Like, what can't you do with T-SQL? What, what do your bosses come to you and say, here, I need this objective accomplished and you can't figure out how to do it with T-SQL. Maybe you're not proud of the way that you do it. That's okay. If you can get across the finish line, I'm kind of okay with that. If you find yourself hitting walls where you go, I cannot do the thing with T-SQL, I think that that's different. And I think the place I would honestly start with is either Claude or ChatGPT, describe the problem and give it the sample input tables and say, I, I can't figure out how to do this with T-SQL, and I want to do it in a set-based way, like I don't want to do it in a cursor way, and see what it comes up with. That, that'll that probably help teach you on an example-by-example -example basis, instead of just going out and randomly learning oddball T-SQL. Otherwise, if you want to learn oddball T-SQL, get the next book by Itzik Ben-Gon, so you hit fundamentals. The next book is T-SQL querying, um, and the other blog that I would read is Brad Schulz, and I want to say it's S-C-H-U-L-Z. Brad has not published a blog post in probably 10 years, maybe 20 even. Kind of like it's, it's retired and not writing anymore. But both of those will give you great examples of stuff you may never run into. For example, like Itzik has blogged about the gaps and islands problem. I've never in my career ever been told, you have to solve the gaps and islands problem. I, I find it interesting, sure, but it's just not something that I, I need to fix in order to get paid. Uh, but between Itzik's T-SQL querying book and Brad Schulz's old blog post, um, if you need to find, if I didn't spell that correctly, um, somebody in the comments will 